Hello Bloggineers, today we're going to unbox and demo another KiwiCo Eureka Crate, and this time it's a table tennis robot. This is a monthly subscription box that teaches you how to build cool stuff, and if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. And also it's for ages 14 and up, but we're, we're less than 14 obviously, and we're able to do it. Well, if we add oh. our ages together, we're more than 14. Here is a table tennis robot maker's guide, so which as usual has a list of all the content, a quick overview. And a picture of what it's going to look like at the end. Oh yeah, a picture of what it'll look like. Some background information about what we're building. And most importantly, the step-by-step -step instructions. So for the table tennis robot, this time the complexity is medium. Last time when we did the printing press, it was hard. The it's not oh, too hard in the row. The time is only one hour this time. Oh, so which is the, probably the shortest of all the ones we've done. Yeah, but usually we take like double or just half an hour. Key yeah. components are the net, launching pin, and motor. The skills we need are wood assembly, wiring, and hand-eye concentration. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Over here are all the components that are provided, and as usual, they include everything we need for this project. Here balls. are the, the table tennis and, balls. Yeah, table tennis balls. Batteries and motors and oh. zip ties. Uh, some springs um, and some foam, key foam and washers. The washers are the circle things. Yeah. What what do you think? I don't know. Uh, it all turns in. Okay, I'll get to this one. Oh, they just come with the rackets. Yep, tennis rackets. That's a lot of rackets. Oh, that's only two. Here's a net. More. How big is this gonna be? Because those rackets and this net is quite. Actually, this net isn't too big, but it's still. It's it still was bigger, bigger than, than I thought. Than I, I thought it, yeah, I thought it would be like I, a really mini thing. No, I think your stuff are pretty big. Battery use instruction. And lastly, all the wood pieces we'll need. And that is the unboxing of this Eureka crate. And now let's go to part A. Part A, assembling the motor. This is what powers the robot. We need to open this. Scissors. I'll go get it. Okay. Get it. Hello, guys. Okay, part A is just making the motor. It shouldn't be that hard. So I got the one that only has rectangle holes and the motor. Oh, here's the battery. This is the battery case. Here's the yes, I found it. No, I found it. Step three, we have scissors. Wait, another zip tie. And then it goes. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now trim. That's not how you use it. Okay. Don't cut the wood. Stand back. Don't cut the wood. Well, I think we got the wrong scissors. One, two, three. Step so four is wood assembly. Three. There we go. Okay, step four is good. Step five, batteries. Here's the battery case and it needs four batteries. All right, I got the battery in, and now, oh, we have to connect it with the motor. Here we go. We did it, and we are done with Wait, hold on, stop and check. Switch on the battery pack. The cam should spin counterclockwise without hitting any part of the motor. Okay, so it'll go this way. Yep, it does go counterclockwise. That's so good. And 
step seven is unplug the battery and set it aside for now. Part B is to add the launcher. We have the motor, now we need the launcher which will launch the ball. Oh, that's how it launches. Oh. So when this wood thing turns, it it causes the spring mechanism to launch. Oh, the ball. and here's where Ready? the ball I'm goes. Do one more time. Oh. oh, so the ball, you put it here, and when the motor lets it go back, then it springs back, and it okay, and it goes to you. Now I see it. And that is the end of part B. Basically, we just built the launcher, which is this thing. Although, I still don't quite understand how the launcher works, but hopefully we did it correctly. Part C is building the ball feed which is what holds the balls and loads them into the launcher. Okay, we got both sides. Hooray, congratulations to us. Part D, wire it up. This is how we'll give power to our machine. So now we're going to pull this. Is it working? Okay, now off. Good job. Okay, step seven. I have zip tie here. And I'm gonna zip tie this corner. I'm back and now we're gonna do part E, which has six steps. Um, and it's adding the net, which lets us hit the balls back into the robot to keep playing. I put all the zip ties over here for steps four and five, and now we're on the final step. Part E, step six, ball. adding the balls. Okay, what happens when you turn it on? <laughs> we, need the, we need the net. We need the net. It's time to test out the table tennis robot. And now it's time for final thoughts. Brother, what did you think of this? I like it, it's just I think there are too many zip tie parts. <laughs> <laughs> no, the zip tie parts were fine. They're in all of the KiwiCo Eureka crates and they're actually easier than the screws. So I didn't mind the zip ties. The only thing with the zip ties is if you messed up, then that's it. <laughs> well, you can cut it off. Yeah, but otherwise the table tennis robot was very fun. Compared to all the other Eureka crates, this was fairly easy. And also one thing I like about all these KiwiCo's is that the builds are split into two categories, like useful and fun. For example, the useful Eureka crates that we've done are like the pencil sharpener, the printer, and... The calendar. The yeah, the perpetual calendar. And then the ones that are for fun are like the vending machine, pinball. and the pinball, and, and this. this. We just tested out the game and it was pretty intense because the machine is like shooting the balls out at you 
and you're like, uh-oh, where, where is it gonna go? It, it's shooting towards me. So you're basically playing against the machine. It is also hard because none of us managed to hit the net, but with more practice, it's probably doable. Once again, if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye.